That seems weird that there's only 20 ways to think. I think if I were an inmate, I'd probably be terrified. Hey, I heard 20 of those inmates are gone. Yeah. yeah so. Take 20 out of that picture. Yeah. I'm just wondering how many of them are in that barn. <laughs> <laughs> So he goes to prison, right? He's in prison for seven months. Highland bitten lines, you know, this fucking prick. His fighting record is, it includes involvement in the battles of Coffeyville, Port Hudson, Holly Springs, Vittsburg, Chattanooga, Bryce's Crossroads. Uh, H.B. Lyon ordered his 800 troops against Union armies of greater size because he had a, you know, he was a psycho, had a death wish, fighting for the Confederacy. He's basically dead already. Nathan Bedford Forrest, that piece of shit, starred the fucking Ku Klux Klan. He wrote with high praise of the actions of Highland Benton Lyon and stated that he had displayed great gallantry. During the day, four days later, on June 14, 1864, Highland Benton fucking Lyon was promoted to Brigadier General. Two months later, Brigadier General Lyon received orders he'd be removed from the command of General Nathan Bedford fucking Forrest, the fucking Kluxer, right, taking him out of Mississippi. Nathan Bedford Forrest immediately complained to the government in Richmond about this move. In two weeks, the orders were rescinded, and Brigadier General Lyon, that's uh, Highland, Highland Benton Lyon, was returned to Nathan Bedford Forrest. Highland Benton Lyon was immediately given command of a brigade consisting of the 3rd, 7th, 8th, and 12th Kentucky Regiments. This brigade was officially designated Lyon's Brigade and for the next several months rode with the Ku Klux Klan found in Nathan Bedford Forrest, also famous at Fort Pillow, Massacre of Fort Pillow. That's what Nathan Bedford Forrest is known for in northern Alabama and Central Tennessee this is where he's riding with it. Fucking Lyon's riding with Nathan Bedford Forrest. Having recognized the abilities of Highland Benton Lyon, Confederate Secretary of War James Sedna assigned Highland Benton Lyon to command of the department that had just been created in Kentucky. Western Kentucky was home territory for Highland Benton Lyon, and the Confederate War Department believed it would require someone with his background and knowledge of the area to regain control of the region from the Federals, from Lincoln's people, from the United States of America. Highland Benton Lyon was not allowed to take his entire brigade to Kentucky. He was limited to the 8th Kentucky Infantry Regiment and a battery of artillery. He was also given the mission of recruiting more Kentuckians to the Confederacy. General Highland Benton Lyon's first objective in Kentucky was to take control of his hometown, Eddyville, away from Abraham Lincoln in the United States of America. This was quickly accomplished, but the United States in the area, the troops uh, of the United States did something in retaliation that no Southerner would imagine doing. They took Highland Benton Lyon's wife captive. So then Highland Benton Lyon made arrangements to release eight captured Union officers in exchange for the release of his wife for the first three weeks of October. Highland Benton Lyon and his troops rode all through western Kentucky. Federal troops frantically pursued him, but could neither stop him or even find him. Highland Benton Lyon returned to the commanding cavalry in 1864 as a brigadier general under Nathan Bedford Forrest. In December 1864, he led 800 cavalrymen on a raid into Tennessee and western Kentucky, both to enforce Confederate draft laws. Uh, I guess conscription to conscribe, you know, um, able-bodied men to their fucking cause and to draw Union troops away from the General John Bell Hood's Nashville campaign. In late October, uh, Highland Benton Lyon again teamed up with Nathan Bedford Forrest, who was in the area. Again, this combination is devastating. Within the space of a week, the Confederates had destroyed six Union gunboats on the Tennessee River, 13 Union steamboats, several barges. Federal troops even began to burn their own vessels so that the supplies on the boats would not fall into the hands of the Confederates. Highland Bent Lyons men also burned all the military buildings in Johnsonville, which resulted in more than $2 million of damage from the second week of December 1864 through the first week of January 1865. Highland Benton Lyon was a man on a mission. December 12, 1864, Highland Benton Lyons forces, including the con conscripts he was picking up along the way, you know, the able-bodied men, he was pointing at gunpoint, you know, uh, forcing them into service at gunpoint, entered Hopkinsville, Kentucky. Knowing that courthouses were being used by Lincoln's men and the federal troops as a center of operations, Highland Benton Lyon and his men went straight to the courthouses and burned it, burned the Hopkinsville's courthouse. They then conscripted some men and moved on the next day, December 13th, 
Highland Bitten Lion led his men due west into Cadiz, Cadiz, C A D I Z, Kentucky, where they immediately went to their courthouse and torched it. The Union garrison had fled the building upon the advance of Confederates. Co- Kentuckians heading north, uh, at least the Confederates, these fucking Confederates. On December 15th, Highland Bitten Lion moved towards Princeton, Kentucky, and federal troops fled the countryside as per the usual pattern. They burned that fucking courthouse down too, so they're just burning Kentucky courthouse after Kentucky courthouse. Lakeway. Oh, really? See, you can, they can access the lake. They can walk right into the lake back on the back side there. Oh, that's true. I heard they, like, evacuated, like, My brother lives over in Mox Creek. Yeah. He said somebody come by and told me that they're going to be, you know, you can sign lock the door. Yeah, I got my dog watching my house right now. Yeah, kind of Hope he's all right. <laughs> okay, that's a great day. Um, yeah. shouldn't be scared. So. No, they shouldn't be scared. <laughs> <laughs> right now. Because they're saying Lincoln and the United States of America took over the courthouses of Western Kentucky. After conscripting more troops, Highland Benton Line and his fucking Confederate fucking piece of shit moved on, this time heading northeast. Madisonville was next, and on December 17th, the courthouse went up in flames. Uh, it seemed that the Federals in the area could do nothing to stop Highland Benton Line and his men in mission burning courthouses, plundering stores, having a devastating effect on the people of the area, especially since that's all the guerrillas and the Confederates would fucking do is just terrorize the shit out of the fucking civilians. They're... Um, since many of the people were Union sympathizers, the missions were having the exact effect that... Harlan Benton line desired immediately, uh, no, not immediately, but three days later, December 20th, Harlan uh, Highland Benton Lions Legion reached the town of Hartford, northeast of Madisonville, and immediately took over the federal garrison and freed the prisoners. They then proceeded to burn the courthouse. Later that same day, Lion Har- Hyman, Highland, Harlan Highland, Highland Benton Lion, Highland Benton Lion, Highland Benton Lion. Alright, I'm losing my mind. Okay. So, yeah. They took over the federal garrison. Freed the prisoners. Proceeded to burn the courthouse. Later that same day, the fucking lion and his fucking men burned a number of ferry boats along a 10-mile stretch of the Green River. Three days later, on December 23rd, fucking lion and his confederate fucking troops attacked a train near Elizabethton. Ton. Town, Elizabeth Tun, who knows, east of Hartford, captured 200 Union soldiers. That night they moved into Elizabeth Tun, Elizabeth Town, burned the stock I, stockade, the railroad depot, and two bridges, so they burned in everything, right? Bridges, railroad depot, stockades, courthouses. This is fucking Highland Benton Lion, right? This is the grandson of the great fucking Matthew Lion, but this is some other fucking demon that just came out of fucking hell. Lion moved southeast. On Christmas Day, his troops reached Campbellsville, and immediately they burned the courthouse. Merry fucking Christmas, Campbellsville. After completing this raid, Harlan Benton Lion directed his troops due south toward the Tennessee line. He just couldn't leave Kentucky without one more raid, though, and then he did it on January 3rd. The other Christmas Day raid would be Chief Plucky in 1776. That was the other day, the Christmas bloodshed had happened, but he, I don't know if he killed anybody, but burned Campbellsville's courthouse down. Maybe somebody died, maybe they lived. But on January 3rd, 1865, he led his men into Burksville, where once again the courthouse went up in flames as the building burned in Burksville. Lion and his men left Kentucky for good. But what a farewell it had been during that period, December 12, 1864 through January 3, 1865. Highland Benton Lion and his Confederate fucking troops burned seven courthouses in Union-held towns, destroyed numerous river-going vessels, and created pure havoc in that area of southwestern Kentucky. <laughs> Where's 
clothes were burning. That's cheap. I guess so. They said that it was actually the You wouldn't think there'd be a whole lot of burn to burn, though, would you? Yeah. Um, it's all brick. I mean, we, 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 we both worked there for more than it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's put together. It's, 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 it's nothing to burn. Where Kentucky raid, December 1864. The raid was made to enforce the Confederacy draft law to conscript more fucking men into their army to divert United States troops from Nashville. He ordered the courthouses burned because they all housed federal troops. His troops burned seven courthouses within less than a month's time. No records were lost in the fires except in Taylor County. Highland Benton Lion burned seven county courthouses, seven county courthouses in Kentucky because he said that Lincoln was using them, including those at Princeton, Kentucky, and Hopkinsville, Kentucky. Highland Benton Line retreated south after the Confederate defeat at the Battle of Nashville to rejoin Nathan Bedford Force in Mississippi. The following courthouses were burned. Christian County, December 12th. Trigg County, December 13th. Caldwell County, December 15th. Hopkins County, December 17th. Ohio County, December 20th. Taylor County, December 25th, and Cumberland County, January 3rd, 1865. And all 22 Kentucky courthouses were burned during the Civil War, 12 by Confederates, 8 by guerrillas, and 2 by Union accidents. So, guerrillas, Confederates were the ones burning it down, but Unions only accidentally burned down too. In January 1865, Harlan Benton Lyon was surprised while slipping in a private home in Red Hill, Alabama by a detachment of the 15th Pennsylvania Cavalry, but he managed to kill a Union sergeant and escaped in his nightgown while he was sleeping in his house near Red Hill, Alabama. When the war ended, General Benton Lyon headed south, far south, spent the next year in Mexico where quite a group of Confederate officers and government officials had ended up. Highland Benton Lyon accompanied the Governor Isham G. Harris of Tennessee into Mexico, intended to offer his services to Maximilian. He was a civil engineer in Mexico for nearly a year before returning to Lyon County. Lyon returned to Kentucky to his hometown of Eddyville to farm and Harlan Benton Lyon opened a prosperous mercantile business. The government eventually brought a portion bought a portion of his land as the site for the castle on the Cumberland River, the Kentucky State Penitentiary, and he served as chief while on the State Penitentiary Commission. Highland Benton Lyon served as the chief state prison commissioner, primi primarily responsible for what is now the Kentucky State Penitentiary, Penitentiary, being located in his hometown of Eddyville. So after he burned down all the fucking courthouses in, Kentucky, he comes as a fucking Confederate fucking defeatist, establish a prison of his own, and eventually he would get his last laugh on all those who had supported America. He would imprison them as the chief state prison commissioner of this big ass fucking castle on Cumberland River, created by the Irish stonemasons. And made as a castle to look scary all along the Cumberland River, which used to be called the Shawnee River until they named it after the Duke of Cumberland. So even today, you have Harlan Benton Lyon's initials are still inscribed over the Kentucky State Penitentiary's front bit gate. Penitentiaries. Mm, Harlan Benton Lyon was married twice. First, 1861, Laura O'Hara, and whom he had a son, 1869, to Grace Matchin. She died in 1873, leaving Lyon again a widower. Now, four additional children to raise. Halen Benton Lyon eventually elected to a seat in the Kentucky House of Representatives. Halen Benton Lyon died April 25th, 1907. Halen Benton Lyon was buried in Eddyville Cemetery in Lyon County in Western Kentucky.